Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Happy New Year. It is the first day of 2017. Hopefully you had a successful and peaceful transition from 2016 to 2017 last night. And hopefully everybody arrived home safely for this morning. Into the rest of the day, we've got a lot of fog out there for this morning. So a lot of cloud cover. The red bar at the bottom of your screen, that is your forecast uh, information right there. Winds northeast today. Temperatures back in the 50s and temperatures will remain in the 50s tonight will actually increase on the numbers as we go into overnight tonight and into tomorrow so mainly just cloud cover out there fog and a little bit of light drizzle possible and then getting into tonight showers and thunderstorms after midnight and into tomorrow we'll talk more about the complete forecast including the potential of some stronger weather heading our way coming up in just a little bit one earthquake back up around the Cape Girardeau area in the last 24 hours otherwise nothing in the mid-south area so good news on on that. Uh, the airport delays from early this morning, no problem at all. Visibility and some drizzle out there, but no delays to report at Memphis International Airport. Likewise, early Sunday morning, no major delays to report across the continental United States where it comes to any problems out there for travel. Temperatures over the next few hours might drop a little bit thanks to the clouds and the rain out across the area. Fog should be burning off here relatively soon. Dense fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock this morning, but plenty of cloud cover throughout the course of the next several hours into the rest of the day today and that minor chance of some drizzle out there right on into early this afternoon. So for your cough temp decks, I think it's going to be a pretty good call for today to say that as of right now, probably going to be leaning toward the hot cup of Java as we see some fairly cool numbers out across the Mid-South into the early morning hours. At least somebody's getting some sunshine. Kennebunk, Kennebunkport, Maine, looking at a lot of snow on the ground. That's not sand down there. That's a lot of snow after the last nor'easter rolled on through. Closer to home, fog around Oxford in the area of Ole Miss, looking back toward the Student Union, Ventress Hall in the foreground there, and a little bit on the hazy side early Sunday morning. Nearly deserted Germantown Parkway. Don't often get a chance to see it this quiet out there, and a little bit drizzly and foggy, kind of wet, even foggier south of that camera, where Germantown City Hall camera sits on top of the water tower just north of Germantown High School. Looking back to the west, along Poplar Pike, seeing little, if anything, out there in the way of good visibility at this location. 7.08 sunrise time today, 7.09 tomorrow, sunset 4.59 today, 5 o'clock tomorrow, so we've got about 9 hours and 50 minutes of daylight today. Third of an inch of rainfall, just a little bit over that for yesterday, and looking at temperatures again back into or the rainfall amounts for a surplus for the month and for the year. Temperatures pretty close to normal, way above our normal low temperature of 33, pretty close to our normal high for the last day of the year. Record high for today, first day of January, 76, set back in 1951, and a record low of six degrees above zero, set back in 1927. The rest of the day today, spotty sprinkles out and about, really not much more than that, off and on through the day today. And temperatures remaining pretty stable in the high 40s to lower 50s. By the time we work our way past sunset tonight, a few gaps in the clouds, maybe by just a bit, but notice the temperatures start heading upwards as we get into very early tomorrow morning possibility of seeing some showers and thunderstorms off to our west moving our direction by lunchtime tomorrow a few isolated showers possible and then by tomorrow afternoon looking at better possibilities of thunderstorms heading into the mid-south working their way through the area by the time we head toward Monday evening some of those could be on the strong to severe side and we'll be watching that with a lot of interest out there the severe threat for today well to our southwest not a problem for us at this time but the threat has increased in the mid-south area we are looking for again uh, the potential of more areas of severe weather down to our south. That's the enhanced risk category uh, that you see the sort of orangish color there. The yellow color for portions of the southern viewing area, that's the highest risk that we have in the mid-south. Green indicates the marginal threat, less of a threat but still possible. So the main target zone will be fortunately well to our south, but it still will be possible in parts of the area leaving the mid-south. Tuesday. Rest of the day today, temperatures in the high 50s with drizzle here and there. Indoors, again, a good place to celebrate for New Year's. Monday, temperatures back around 70, 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year, with showers and thunderstorms developing, some of which could be strong to severe by midday into early evening. Showers early on Tuesday, then just cloudy skies, and then colder air invades the Mid-South, a large mass of Arctic air on its way. Thursday into Friday, there might be the possibility of some stray snow showers. It does not look good now. It did not look good several days 
days ago. At least it looked better, but it definitely doesn't look like anything at this point. And then temperatures remaining chilly into the early portion of the first full weekend of 2017, warming up a bit toward normal by next Monday with a chance of showers and then back to the 30s by the time we hit Tuesday or so. Heading to weather where the troops are, Iraq, temperatures in the 50s and 60s around Baghdad and Najaf, a little bit less clouds, a little sunshine around Basra, close to sunset and sunny skies around our 50s. Much of the area around the Persian Gulf. Apparently we're having some difficulty with the data there. We'll have to get that correct. That into around Afghanistan. Temperatures again back into around the normals for this time of the year. As we see, temp 40s up around Faizabad, 43 in Kabul, 60s down toward the western part of the country in Kandahar and Herat. The DMZ south to the rest of South Korea, upper 30s to lower 40s. Cloudy from Chuncheon, Seoul and Kunsan, and clear skies and chilly in Taegu and Pusan. Let's see more about your pictures on the air. Tweet them to me, a underscore at WREG3. Tune in for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And wherever you are, whatever tablet, system, phone you've got, we've got an app for that. Search WREG Weather at your particular app store. We'll have an update on the forecast again throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online. We'll have an update on, again, what the severe weather potential is. We'll do a special Facebook Live later on tonight and a special announcement, actually a couple of them coming up for later on this evening. That'll be about 7 or 8 o'clock later on this evening, so you can get more information about that. WREG.com slash weather. More information from me if you got any questions, suggestions, complaints, if you absolutely have to, austin.onic at wreg.com, the email address at the top of your screen. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, bright and early on Sunday morning, the 1st of January 2017, and again, very happy new year to you. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you informed.